Are you looking for an easy, low-cost way to have a dual battery set up in your travel rig or your overlander? Well, we've come to the right place. I'm going to show you two different ways to set up a dual battery system, cost-friendly, and let's just get right into it. So first off, we're going to obviously need a battery. I'm going to show two products today that I really like that are just easy for um, having power in our rig and being able to, you know, have a fridge and our laptops and charging our cameras and all that stuff. So the first product is this Dr. Prepare 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate um, battery. It's actually made by Renogy. It's a great battery. Uh, a few more specs. It has a temperature cutoff. So once it gets too cold, uh, right about you know 32 degrees, the you cannot no longer charge the battery. And I've watched some bit, videos, uh, people testing the BMS in this system, and it all works as advertised. 100 amp um, discharge rate, and then you can have a charging current of 50. Amp. Why I'm showing this battery today is it has this cool integrated uh, unit. This is called the Max Power Hub. This just plugs into the battery and then it makes it this portable power station. So 100 amp hour portable power station for $400. This is probably the cheapest power station on the market that I've seen with this much capacity. Obviously a few limitations. There's no AC outlets. Um, just a, we also have USB-C, two USB-As, and an Anderson out. So we could charge with our solar panels into here. So not many options. Also the 12 volt out, I have a refrigerator hooked up to that. So not tons of options, but if you're just going for a basic setup and you just kind of want a fridge, you know, the fridge also has power USB on it as well. So the fridge, you can power things off as well. If you were just looking for an easy basic setup, Dr. Prepare, a uh, really nice battery. Like I said, it's basically just a Renogy product. It's plugged into the battery off the 12 volt socket. I have it plugged into uh, this Renogy 50 liter fridge. Pretty cool fridge. Uh, just gonna run through some features real quick. Also just flip the lid around. That's one cool feature. It has this reversible lid. And I'll get in here tighter with the camera, but little little cutting board, right? That's kind of funny. A little portable cutting board. So it's a cool little fridge. Uh, if you're just kind of using this, say this is your camping setup, I would recommend this fridge for something like car camping. You can pull it out, you can roll it on the wheels. The battery is super compatible and easy to move around. Uh, one thing is about this is it has the loudest compressor uh, I think I've ever heard for a fridge. So if you're trying to sleep in the same room as this fridge, maybe not the best option. Let's see if we can get it to fire up. Okay, so I got the compressor to turn on. Had a f Here you can hear it. It's pretty loud. It's, it's quite loud and then sometimes it even shakes the cage in here. So yeah, it has this nice little cage, pulls out. I really like that, pulling that out, shutting the door, letting it stay cool, sifting through his stuff, putting it back in. So this is the Renogy 50 liter fridge, also has this pull out handle. This is why I really like it. We use this fridge uh, regularly to teach cooking and nutrition classes and we bring all our supplies in here and bring it with us. So great little fridge for camping, car camping, like I said. You do not want to sleep with it though. And you can hear, it's pretty loud. But yeah, it's a, about a $390 fridge. So Renogy 50 liter fridge, it's a dual zone, has two compartments. I really like it. It's just big and it's just easy to move around. This could power the fridge for, you know, I would say multiple days. So you could always just go home, charge the battery off of a lithium battery charger that you could just plug into your wall. If you wanted additional charging, you could run from the Anderson here, the DC in, the Anderson plugs. We could run out to a solar panel. So 100 watt input on the Max Power Hub. It's kind of a not, that's not really enough, right, to charge 100 amp hour battery continuously. But if we're just using a little bit of power like the fridge, I think the 100 amp hour will be okay. We would need more 
solar if we were needed more demand. But the battery itself can take 50 amps uh, max charging current. So much more. But what we can do from here is just run the solar panel to this unit just with an extension cable, something like this. Anderson has the Anderson and then it goes to the MC4 connectors. And I like this panel. This is a Bougie RV uh, 100 <laughs> watt arch. It's called the Arch 100 watt panel. Super flexible, durable fiberglass. So much more flexible than the other uh, silicon panels. Great to just slap on, you know, a minivan, a Subaru Outback, slap on your roof box. So this panel comes in at about 100 and I want to say 40 bucks. So if we put the whole setup together, we have the battery bank at $399. We have the solar panel at $139. We could add an additional inverter um, to this. So we could just hook an inverter in off the post. I saw there was a Bougie RV inverter for like $165. And that would bring us up to about $710, give or take a few pennies. So $700 if we wanted to add the inverter and power um, AC outlets. I only add the inverter because a lot of times portable power stations do have um, the built-in inverter. So this is the first option, just getting something like this portable power station. Um, like I said, if, if you're going for longer distances and you don't need all the bells and whistles of um, outlets and all that stuff, this is probably a great option for you. Here's another option. This is the Anchor Solix C1000. It comes in around, retails around about $1,000, but right now it's on sale. I think it's about 650-ish bucks, give or take a few pennies. Um, but yeah, they're always having sales on the Anchor website. But here's another way we can have the dual battery set up if we want more outlets. So compared to the Dr. Prepper, just a few things that I will note that are different. Obviously, we have the USB outlets. We have one more USB-C. And then the big feature is we can input 600 watts of solar into this unit and charge it. It's 10,056 watt hours. So it's pretty comparable size. And, you know, the Dr. Prep prepared, this thing is about 400 bucks. So we're getting more capacity, less features. But if you're just going for a super easy, basic setup, this might be what you want with the Max Power Hub. Plug in your fridge, and then every now and then plug it in uh, just onto a battery charger. You can get a battery charger for like 20 bucks. So 420 bucks gets you that easy setup with the, with the battery charger. It's $400 on the website. Of course, we have discounts. And then something like this, uh, 650 bucks right now. So yeah, two setups, um, obviously, this actually, so the 650, no solar, right? When we calculated the uh, $710 for everything, we had solar power in there. So you need to add on the solar as well. So yeah, you could easily integrate these systems either or. I just wanna show some options, some cool new products that are out there. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today, kooks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you like this content, give us a thumbs up. And we will see you all in the next video.